Hi, this is Megan Keene with Avid Artist Relations here at IBC 2010 in Amsterdam. And I'm here with Niven Howie, editor of Resident Evil 4 Afterlife, who just gave a presentation on the Avid main stage. Um, and Resident Evil 4 is the first full-length feature film edited entirely in 3D, is that right? Correct, yes. Um, up until this film, everything was done where they actually carried 2D and 3D. Uh, dailies, so they basically cut in 2D and then conformed the 3D and screened it and then made adjustments. So I, I realized that I didn't have time in my schedule to do that. Saw the beta test of the new software and realized I didn't really need it. So I ditched the, the idea of carrying 2D and went completely 3D. So yeah. And so, from the beginning of starting on the film to now, how have you seen the progress of 3D in general change? It's evolving so fast. Um, I mean, the cameras we had were the same cameras, supposedly, that James Cameron used on Avatar, but obviously in the two years between him and us using them, they changed a lot. And the systems, all the edit systems, uh, Avid in particular, are advancing the whole time and you see improvements happening the whole time so the uh, the way I worked isn't necessarily the way someone will be working now if they started on a 3D picture. How so? What do you what do you think has changed that would make that different? Uh, well the workflow of actually creating the media to, to edit um, we kind of came up with the workflow um, two weeks before we started <laughs> and uh, that was uh, our dailies were delivered by um, uh, by our camera hire company that she had an on-set lab for us um, it was in a kind of a big U-Haul trailer oh, wow. but with a lot of very expensive kit in it that had an Avid uh, a Quantel SID uh, which they used to actually combine both cameras and do some rudimentary color correcting to make sure that the, the balance was reasonably the same and uh, created our rushes for us and we also projected our dailies in that truck every evening. Directly from the media composer or how? Uh, well no, actually they made backup tapes and um, also it was stored in the hard drive of the Quantel so they actually played it live out the Quantel and then overnight someone would digitize it into the Avid and then we'd get the drive the next morning. Um, now that was because labs didn't have the setup in place to be able to cope with 3D and now they're starting to do that so I guess now you probably would have Deluxe or Technicolor or one of the labs actually deal with all that but we, we had our own onset which which I loved I think it was great how convenient for people now <laughs> so have you had a chance to walk around at all have you seen anything I've, interesting I've seen, uh, it's it's it, it it plays with your mind <laughs> I'm trying to be polite uh, so uh, no there's so much kit here it's just frightening trying to keep up with it all I mean uh, technology is moving so quickly now it's it's crazy and I, I, there's a lovely stand somewhere near here where uh, there, there's someone wearing a t-shirt that says um, a truck in your pocket and it, they've got some device now that basically replaces what was in a truck oh my gosh and it fits in your pocket that's crazy <laughs> live you know encoding of yeah. something wow well, we're trying to keep you as, as close as we can to what's going on here, um, so thanks, Niven. Okay.